Hi everybody, this is Anne. Recently, I was inspired when I saw a potter using a textured paddle to alter his wheel thrown pottery. I had not tried that technique before to apply texture. I thought it'd be fun to give that process a try. So in this video, I'm experimenting with 10 different textured paddles to see if I can create interesting patterned pots. All of you potters out there probably have a paddle in your toolbox. It's used for everything from altering forms to rounding and squaring corners. For this project, my paddle was a bit big for my tiny test pots. Also, I needed at least 10 paddles for the different textures, which I did not have. What I did have were these craft sticks the size of tongue depressors that I got at my local craft store. Not only were they the right size, but they come in packs of 30. Jim and I came up with all sorts of ways to texture the paddles. Here's one of them, making it with birdseed. I had this bottle of Weld Bond glue, which can be used on many different surfaces. I applied a glob of it on the end of the stick and brushed the glue over the entire surface at the end. I sprinkled the bird seed into the glue until it was totally filled and let the glue dry thoroughly. Now here's one I made earlier. I rolled out a slab of clay so I could play around with how to use the new tool. I found that if I paddled the clay with the textured side flat to the clay, I got a fun cratered look, very pebbly. Changing the angle of the paddle can result in different looks. When I slightly turned the paddle and hit it from the side, I got this vertically aligned cratered pattern. Let's try this on a freshly made pot centered on a banding wheel. I decided to spank the bottle with the broad side of the paddle for the random cratered pattern. I turned the banding wheel while paddling, which is sort of like slow motion chattering. I had a hard time doing the bottom, so either I could pick it up and paddle it, or just press the texture into the bottom, like this. I continued this until I was happy with the look. I then took a pointed wooden stick and ran it under the pot for this nice foot ring. Oh, that's cute. The next step was to make the 10 textured paddles and the 10 tiny pots. I'll show you each paddle and the subsequent pot that I used it on. Now here's the first paddle. I cut a V-notch with scissors into the top. I hit the pot along that top V-shape. It gave me a deep zigzag creviced pattern across the rounded surface. I decided to apply black underglaze and wipe it back so the texture would be even more dramatic. I used a half inch dowel rod for the second paddle. I used a wood burner and burned lines into the side and the ends of the dowel. I started by hitting it straight on at the side, but the texture was not deep enough, so I turned the paddle more to its edge, which gave the deeper relief. It kind of looks like crinkled paper to me. The third paddle is just a jagged edge that I cut at the end of the craft stick. I hit this one using the side of the stick and created diagonal patterns down and around the pot. This gives the piece movement. I dripped hot glue from a glue gun onto the end of this one. I first spanked the piece along the broad side of the paddle for the main texture, then turned the stick to the side to create horizontal ribbons dividing the surface. The black underglaze really intensifies the texture on this one. I 
had this corrugated rubber mat that I cut and glued down to see what that would create. The result was a deep pattern that moved vertically and around the pot. The mat gave a very uniform texture that was fun to play around with. I started this paddle on a quarter inch rectangular stick. I used a small saw to cut simple notches into the edge of the stick. I hit the side of the pot with that edge for an almost squared off pattern. On the other edge of the stick, I used the same saw to cut multiple small V-shapes. I hit the pot along that notched side to create this almost layered appearance. Next, I wrap the end of the stick with nylon string. Now here's the pot. You can see the string texture and how I use the side of the stick for the vertical lines. I found these donut hold beads at the craft store and glued those down. I really accentuated the round edge of that paddle for this texture. It reminded me of Grandma's crochet doilies. Finally, I stacked up some of the sticks at different levels and taped them all together. With the stacked side of the paddle facing the pot, I hit the surface vertically so the texture almost looks hairy or grassy. Jim says it looks like a tiki hut. After doing these experiments, I came up with quite a few other ideas for texturing these cute little paddles. Let me know in the comments section if you have a favorite. Thanks to the newest members of our Little Street Pottery Research Facility team. If you'd like to join the team and earn a title, click on the Super Thanks button or the link to buy me a coffee. It also really helps us out if you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. See you next time in the studio.